Evening bushcraft survivalists and preppers. Not the final bit of the uh, silver birch, but another good bit. It's springtime and it's time to get a refreshing drink from the sea. <laughs> take the tree and now what I'm going to do use the branches I'll push a knife into it into it and make a wedge here we are we're dripping already fine cloth even though this damage occurred on the tree in the capillaries it's sealed around it and it's still feeding this tree big time now we've got tape on I'm going to use that tape to seal the tree off the end. Let's just see if we can get a drip. There's a drip. So what I'm going to do now with the tape is try. It's always good to have some duct tape in your bag. There's many other ways of doing this. You can work it out for yourself. But just after the liquid, not really a method of doing it. Because it's evening, I'm not going to hang around all night. I'm going to let this fill up. This is just to show anybody who doesn't know. Take this duct. Split it. Really stuck in it. Let the other half round for a bit. That's collected beautifully. Dripping in. You can see that dripping in. See how the bottle's moving? We're going to have to secure that properly. There it is drip it in and that's the speed you'll get it at that sort of hole but that's the speed you really want to take it from and we've got it taped up and secured it would need to be more than that and there's tidier ways of doing it but we just leave that to fill basically I like to fill it into a small neck it stops insects but the insects ain't going to do anything but what I'm going to do now I'm going to assume that I've left this bleed overnight and got a certain a good amount of liquid out of it take it off filter the insects through a hank each whatever I'm going to use this tape, or fresh tape, to seal that hole, because it works. So I, want, I don't want the tree to be damaged any more than I need to. I've had a feed off it. I'll go to another tree. As I say, that serves two purposes. It helps me identify the tree for future bleeding. <coughs> and it seals off the wound I've given to the tree. Now, I don't like to wound them at this time of year. Not that they feel it. They live and die like everything else. So that'll seal that up. It's best to throw a bit of earth in there first before you take it, but that will do the job. Anyway, that's basics of bleeding the tree. There's many ways of doing it. You can drill it, you can put a, a peg in the end. I don't think it's um, rocket science to fill a hole back in to be honest with you and it's getting late so I can't really make this a lengthy demo hence I haven't let it fill up overnight uh, to drink it them on I'll bleed I'll bleed them from now on for the next week and drink the fluid and that's my protein a boost for the summer coming but anyway hope you enjoyed it sorry about the rush this is Pete and Pete on survival signing out saying please don't forget to subscribe Thank you.